Hi, I'm Dave Warzel, and you're watching Spotlight on PHTV4. Today, the spotlight is on the pep band at Chicago Christian High School. Uh, with me, I am very fortunate to have a couple members in the, of the band and band director Chris Demon. Thank you for being here. I've got Morgan Cloman on my right, and on my left, I've got Naya Teague. Ladies, thank you. And uh, we're going to launch into this. Uh, first, I'm going to put the spotlight on, on Coach. Can I call you Coach? Oh, <laughs> uh, how, about, uh, how about your background? Because I know you, know, you work in this campus, but uh, there's a Southwest you know, Chicago Christian. Sure. There's a, multiple campuses. Yep. And also pep band, what does that mean and how long you've been doing it? Okay. Well, this is my 25th year teaching. It's my 15th year here at Chicago Christian and, and at the, the whole association. I teach 5th grade through 12th grade um, for, the, for all of the, the campuses here. Um, at this school, there's, there's two classes of concert band. There's an independent study. Um, everybody that's in concert band is also in pep band, um, and so that's a part of that curriculum. Uh, but there's also jazz band and flute choir. We have pit orchestra every once in a while. Um, there's a lot of other little mini things that, that are going on. But everything that's instrumental uh, at these schools, I'm dealing with. Congratulations. And I, I'm going to guess, and if you didn't want to speak to it, it sounds like a heck of a challenge. I mean, you're working with a wide range of, of kids' age and ability, I'm sure, and different types of performances. Yeah, and, and the other thing is because we have so many kids from all kinds of different areas. I mean, we got Chicago, Olympia Fields, I'm from Park Forest. We've got uh, kids way out, New Lenox, that kind of thing. They're coming from different backgrounds. Some are coming from public, uh, private schools uh, for their middle school career. Um, some are homeschooled and then come in. So it's a lot of different backgrounds and not all of them have seen me from the beginning of their, their band careers. So um, we take them here and, and then kind of go like right now we're, we're in the middle of learning like 50 songs for our first football game. You know, and, and so we'll, we'll do that for our pep and just keep building on that. Um, and it, it's just a blast. It's a lot of fun to be able to, to teach at the highest level and then teach those true beginners that are just that just starting out with the toots and squeaks and squawks and stuff. I, I got, <laughs> I'm glad they're living because I'm getting humbled by this. I, the challenges it sounds like you're facing between teaching, uh, challenges between teaching all the different songs, let alone the different abilities, all the different backgrounds that you're talking about. That's really incredible. And yet, you, you know, you've obviously had a great career. You've been at a while, and we've got a couple of your protégés right here who are yeah. obviously great. Uh, let's talk about, Naya, what instruments do you play? Oh, okay. So I play the violin. I started playing that when I was about five years old, and I just started, got it, start, just started getting back into it over the summer. And I play piano, which I taught myself. I play French horn, trumpet, cornet, and I also play a marching French horn, which is called the mellow foam. I also play bass drum and snare drum. Wow. Wow, that is quite a, that's quite a list. All right, Morgan, the challenge is on. <laughs> <laughs> what instruments do you play? Um, so when I was in second grade, I picked up piano. Um, and then when I got into fifth grade, uh, I started working with Mr. Dem and I uh, started playing clarinet. And for a little bit, I played a little bit of trombone, but I haven't really picked that up in a little bit. Um, and then I started to play bass guitar, which is like one of my secondary instruments right now. Um, and then I started picking up trumpet about like last year. Um, oh, and also uh, I joined the flute choir and I've been working with the flute choir this year and last year. So yeah. All right, and this was not, I didn't warn you I was going to ask this question, but I have to ask. If we see you at halftime of a football game or if we see you at a, in the pep band at a basketball game, what instrument are you playing? Is it always the same one or... Is there a certain, and I'm going to ask you both. Morgan, you want to go first? Um, so usually, like, I play bass, but sometimes it depends on the weather. So, like, I'll switch off the clarinet, and if I really like a song, I'll play, like, on trumpet. So it just depends on how I'm feeling that night. I like that, I like that Mr. Demon gives you the freedom to, to work different instruments. Now, how about you? What will you be playing? Uh, usually be playing the trumpet, but at the same time, I might be playing over there with the drums, playing snare or bass drum or... I'm not sure what the other one, but the, with the four drums, you know, with the, oh, the yeah, the tom-toms. <laughs> so those. I, like, I like that you're giving us some air drum, too, while you're here. <laughs> 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 All right, then uh, maybe, Mr. Demon, you can kind of distinguish for us between, like, what is marching band or concert band? Or, like, so we're talking about pep band. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? And then also yep. what concerts, events, you know, do you have going on during the year? 
Yeah, so pep band is, is specifically meant to augment whatever sporting event that we're, that we're playing for. Um, we're a big part of the crowd, um, but we're also a big part of the excitement of what's going on. And so we are, we are meant to support what is ever on the field or, or what's on the court. Um, so that's pep band, that's, that's what it is. When we do concert band, that's a sit down. Um, we've got the audience out in regular chairs and, and they're literally there to listen to us uh, play. Um, sometimes it's a hybrid of both. So like last year, we had our fall concert and we collaborated with uh, the professional cover band that I'm in called Cadillac Groove. Um, well, that's, that's a little bit of both, you know? And so uh, we've got audience participation and I had uh, my full band, which is we're 10 guys and, and with a full horn section and that kind of thing. And we're doing everything from Chicago to uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire and all kinds of fun stuff in between. And the, the pep band or the concert band was plugging in uh, to what they were doing too. So there's that excitement as well. The whole goal is to try to get these guys to be able to do things that's applicable to the real world of how can you take these skills and, and immediately go out and perform that. So like some of the other things, like we do a winter concert, which is a, a very traditional sit down that we collaborate with our choir and that's at Trinity Christian College. And then the, fall, uh, the spring concert is just the bands, but it's also jazz band too. And so we showcase them uh, with that. So this year, like we're doing John Williams. And so it's a lot of, a lot of movie music and things like that. But that's that's, that's kind of the distinguishing between the two. Now, marching band is is specific to doing competitions, and they're they're on the field, moving around and everything, and they they're hours and hours out on the field and whatnot. And what's what's nice about having just a pep band is we can focus on the music and do a ton of it, and not worry about that aspect of it. So it's the excellence in the music and and just having the students learn as many songs as we can, uh, and just loving them. And we keep them around so they they form a repertoire. Like right right now, these guys probably have about seven. 75 to 100 songs that they that they can pull out at any time you know so th that's kind of our goal is to get them with all this music that they know being able to do whatever the crowd wants right. so <laughs> so there, there are two things you said that I'm gonna have to come back to and then I'm gonna come back to you ladies so don't you know don't walk away yet hang in there still um, you said earth wind and fire which is my generation I grew up I, I, one of the best live performances I ever saw uh, I think I saw him at the Rosemont incredible but how about, did you ever get a chance to see them? I imagine you're too I young just, to have seen them. No, I, I haven't seen them live personally. I've played their music tons. But I mean, I, I haven't seen them live personally. Um, they're monsters, like that horn section. Yeah. I don't know how they can last and then, like all that whole time. Yeah. They're just screaming all the time. And in Cadillac, uh, the guy that plays with us, Carlo Isabelli, like I call him Superman because he lasts that long, that high all the time. It's, it's just insane. But yeah, those, those groups, they're just so phenomenal to see. And the ones that are still around, uh, uh, it's just great to see them continuing to perform, continuing to uh, um, uh, just appreciate music in the way that they know. So thank you, because you kind of led me into the other part of my question. Um, I love the name, Cadillac Groove. What's your music, and specifically, what do you play in the band, or what do you do in the band? Sure. Um, I play tenor sax and flute, um, and we do everything from Beatles all the way up to Bruno, Bruno Mars and everything in between. Um, so it's, it's, uh, we have a lot of lead singers. So we've got two guitarists that both sing, a piano player that sings as well, um, and then with the horns, it's, so I play tenor, and then there's a barry sax player, uh, there's a trumpet player, a trombone player. Um, and so it's a nice full sound for everything. Um, well, we do we do Stevie Wonder and I mean there's a whole bunch Stevie Ray Vaughan and I mean there's really kind of uh, no end to what we can do a lot of Blues Brothers types of stuff yeah, sure. things like that just fun but we're a party band so we get people up dancing and uh, it's just a blast and the, and the students got to experience that firsthand last year so it's, it's just wonderful to be a, a part of that I like connecting these guys to that world instead of oh we're just prepping you for college no 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 you're gonna play this gig next week and you're gonna get 300 bucks for it you know yeah. that kind of thing <laughs> it sounds like fun all right, so hopefully uh, your coach got you thinking about your music now because I'm going to come to you. I want you to think about favorite, uh, I guess I'm jumping questions here a little bit, favorite song for you to perform, maybe favorite type of music to perform. What do you like to do? Uh, now you want to go first? Yeah. Um, I know for when we have concert band and when we do like our spring concert, I really, really, really love the song Be Thou Vision. It's one of the hymns that we play. I just, I don't know, it's something about it. It just makes it, sound just so good it's almost like a symphony it just fills the room that's why i just really enjoy playing that song and i play it on the french horn and it's I, fun i think i'd like to hear it especially the way you, i mean you described it you know the it's a, it's a song that fills the room and it sounds like a beautiful thing um morgan how about you what do you like to play um so i really like you know like the cv wonder songs that we play um not right now we're working on like michael jackson like a whole bunch of his like um hot like you know his best songs or whatever and 
I don't know, something about like Michael Jackson's like the bass line, because I play bass on all of them, because bass um, is right now like one of my favorite instruments to play, because I just like to feel the beat, mm -hmm. especially like being back in, like in the percussion area, like I feel the beat, and I uh, hear all the other instruments play together as well. Okay, so, and I don't know if you partly answer this, because let me ask you, I want you to think about, do you have a favorite performer, favorite, or maybe singer or musician that, you know, this, that person is special to you in some way, whether it's what they play, what they sing, how they sound, what they write, whatever. Morgan, you want to take that first? Yeah, sure. Um, so there's an R&B singer um, named her. It's, yeah, she's really good R&B. She's like really like feels and like, like just vibes and chill. And like, I really like listening to her songs. And she like speaks the truth. She doesn't just like, you know, sing bumbo jumbo. She like actually like, you know, sings real songs. Okay. And then how about you? Well, I didn't have one before, but then like you reminded me of like R <laughs> R and B. Yes, definitely her. But I would also say like John Legend because I don't know. You don't see as many black men really sing or like even play the piano as much. So I just kind of like I don't know. I like how I just he's one of my favorite. He's okay. one of my favorite for sure. All right, Coach, do you have a favorite? I, I always go back to Miles Davis, like I, and everything that's an influence to that. I'm a huge jazzer, so I like a lot of that stuff. But I was in a Dave Matthews cover band for forever, and I love that. But there's so many different kinds of music. It just kind of depends on the mood. Sure. Yeah, for, that's why we play so many different kinds of music. <laughs> All right, then, ladies, uh, one more time back to you. Uh, we'll step away from music. Do you have a favorite academic subject or favorite uh, any classroom? What do you like to study in school? Um, I'm really. <laughs> Well, besides band, I really like English. I'm probably going to major in English um, when I graduate high school because, I don't know, English, I just love to read when I was younger. I just always like to learn new things in English, so yeah. All right, as a former English teacher myself, that is an excellent answer, the best answer I've heard all year so far. Hey, how about you? Do you have a favorite subject? Um, English? No, go ahead. Say whatever you want. <laughs> Probably literature. I just, I that don't sounds know. sounds like English. Yeah, like English, <laughs> but more so the literature department, because I like when we have discussions in class and hearing other people's opinion. It's, it's really fun and interesting to learn. So, yeah. Okay, and then how about this? You're both seniors. What's headed, where are you headed after high school? Um, so, well, this summer I visited a school in North Carolina, and so I plan, I, well, I just applied there like two weeks ago, so I'm waiting to hear back from them. So I probably will major in, um, uh, uh, education and become an English teacher and then minor in music education to see like I don't know which teacher I want to be and then go back to get my master's to become an uh, administrator in the school. All right excellent answers <laughs> those are truly the best no but no pressure now Naya all right she gave excellent answers your own excellent answer what is it here what, what are you going to do after high school? Um, well I was <laughs> so I was thinking about applying to NIU because there was something about this school that just made me feel like yes, I'm going to be there. And they have a great music program, which I am excited about because they have a marching band and concert bands and jazz bands, and I really want to be a part of all of that. But I want to be a music producer, so they have the good music program where I will be able to learn this stuff, learn the notes and how to composition songs and learn how to use a keyboard to use that stuff later to what I want to be when I'm older. So. No, that sounds great. That's a great answer, too. I love it. Now I'm thinking, oh, gosh, I hope it happens. That sounds exciting. So for, for both ladies, congratulations so far. Good luck this year. Uh, good luck after high school. It both sounds like you, have, you both have great plans coming. Coach, good luck this year. Have fun. All right. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave Wurzel. The spotlight has been on the pep band at Chicago Christian High School. Thank you for watching, and, and take care. <music>